Hey Saberland, uh, got a little something here for you today. Um, if you are in a bind and you can't find a speaker mount at the Custom Saber Shop without that lip on it that locks in place with the pommel. So for instance, um, my chassis, the uh, the rear half of the Saber is going to slide over the, the chassis to uh, allow access. So in order for that to happen, you can't have this pommel locking lip on the speaker mount. But they usually don't have those um, speaker mounts in the store. They sell out really quickly for that reason because everyone builds these chassis to have the rear half of the saber slide off to reveal the chassis. So usually they have these in abundance with the lip. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how you can buy one of these and still make it work with your chassis so that you can still slide the, sec the uh, lower half of your chassis off to reveal your, uh, your, your sound card or you know, for a battery swaps or whatever you need it to do. So what I did, I just took a bolt from my bolt bin. Um, you can see there. Uh, found one that's really snug to about the same diameter as the hole in the middle of the speaker mount. And I put a washer and a nut holding, holding it in the other side to hold it tight. And I'm just going to lock it in my drill. And I've got my file stuck in my vise there. And you can probably put two and two together. Uh, I'm not that great at math, but 2 and 2 equals, here we go. Alright, let's see how it goes. This should work. Just got to apply a little bit of force on there. Okay. Make sure you're staying level. That's coming off very right quick. This is a good example. If you don't have access to a lathe or any other machining equipment, you can still do this kind of stuff with basic hand tools. Alright. You gotta apply some force. It's gonna catch. So you can already see the decent amount of material we're getting off of there. So, uh, yeah, this is, if you couldn't hear me, um, this is a good alternative to people that don't have access to a lathe or any kind of like uh, machining equipment. So, we make do with what we have, right? Working pretty good. Let's go. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell, that's already getting pretty smooth. There's a little bit of a lip. I don't know, it's a bad camera angle. A mm, little bit of a lip there. Let's, uh, let's keep going. files loading up a little bit and of course you know you can go ahead and clean this up with a, a finer file la later but going with the big guy here to get the work done so if it loads up just go ahead and brush it off you know Brush it off like Luke on crate, right? Okay, getting pretty smooth there. You can see it jumping a little bit. That's because the closer you can find, you can even drill out the center of your speaker mount to match the uh, diameter of the bolt you use. I did not do that. I got as close as I could, and it's pretty snug. But uh, you can see it's still jumping a little. So let's see if I can get rid of that that last little lip there. Okay, she's pretty smooth. A mm, little bit, a little bit more. Get her off the file. Files are in the computer. That's hot. Okay, so we don't want to take too much diameter off of that. We don't want it rattling around. So, okay, let's take that out of the drill. Unchuck. And 
grab a piece of MHS for a drop test here. Let's see, all right. Set that guy in there. And, yeah, still, still catching a little bit on that lip. Let's chuck it in again. Just barely catching. Okay. Just boom, right out the other side. So you can see that lip does not catch. Whoop. Hopefully, I didn't crack my speaker mount. We're good. So there you go. You can turn a. Uh, I don't know what number. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you can turn a speaker mount with a lip for the pummel locking feature. You can delip that and you can have the, as I just demonstrated, speaker mount will just slide right on through for your uh, chassis access to your sound card of your choice. Alright, happy building.